Let's take a look at the number of people that have been living on planet Earth. We'll start about 10,000 years ago. At that point, there were roughly 5 million people living on the planet. And they slowly increased in number for some considerable time, up until we get to 1800. Well, then we get 1 billion people on the planet. And by the time we get to 1960, we get 3 billion. And then things go wild and it escalates massively up here to the 7.7 .7 billion people that we've got on planet Earth right now. The UN predicts that by 2050, there'll be almost 10 billion humans on planet Earth. We all know about the pressures our planet is under from climate change. We exist because of nature, and that, that nature is really you know, falling apart. But I believe we're facing another challenge, which is just as fundamental. Within the last six generations, we've gone through the biggest population explosion of our species. I'm going on a personal journey around the world to find out what effect our growing population is having on the planet right now. It's this Earth vast consumption. We honestly think that we can carry on doing this. And to find out if there's any limit to the number of people our Earth can sustain. Things are probably going to get very uncomfortable and pretty ugly before we fix it, aren't they? I think there are systems in place. I just think we've rather lost the plot. If, as I believe, our ever-increasing numbers may in fact be a threat to our own survival, could we find a way, as a species, to reduce our own population? Someone's got to talk about this issue whilst there's still some chance that we can solve the problem. Hey, come on. Yeah, let's go. Come on, hurry up. All right, come on, come on, come on. I live on my own, in the middle of the woods, with my dogs. Scratchy fell down the stairs a couple of days ago, and I've been told that I mustn't appease his limp or carry him or anything like that. Ah, come on, Scratch. Ever since I can remember, I've dedicated my life to one thing. I have a profound love for every large,